You see you guys as Bonnie and Clyde that you mentioned in the yeah, song? Yeah, Bonnie and Clyde, Romeo and Juliet, uh, <laughs> Adam and Gloria. I had a really public breakup right. and the whole world was watching. Halsey broke out into tears on stage while singing Sorry due to her recent breakup with G.E.'s Someone Will Love You But Someone Isn't Me. So did you smash Halsey? Absolutely. Who said G.E.'s? Who's f***ing you? Don't kick your f***ing out of the f***ing club! G-Eazy and Halsey had a messy relationship. He constantly cheated on her behind her back. While on tour, he would pick up models and fans and casually cheat on Halsey like she wouldn't ever find out. Halsey has told the world about g Easy and how awful he is, but some call her a hypocrite for cheating on him as well. So let's get into it. We're going to be talking about the toxic relationship between singer Halsey and rapper g Easy. I mean, they had a tumultuous relationship that also included a hit song, which kept these two performing on stage together even after they had broken up. Let's go ahead and start from the beginning, because according to g Easy, these two met at a party and began dating. He and Halsey, he claims, could talk for hours and hours, and they both relate to everything, which I'm not surprised by because Halsey, she has a a large dating history. I've actually learned that recently, and it seems like she's pretty likable. So I feel like getting along with Halsey and probably g Easy is pretty easy. I love seeing your Instagrams, the two yeah. of you. It's just the greatest thing. Is it because you've done so many collaborations with people, obviously from BB Rexa and mm -hmm. um, ASAP Rocky and Cardi B. Is it different when you're working with someone who you're that close with? Yeah, but when you're doing that with the person that you're actually also with, you know, it's exciting. It was a little bit strange because on one hand, we have our professional lives, our professional selves, and then our personal selves. And that was fully like, you know, blurring the lines of everything. And, you know, it was, uh, it was a fun experience though. You see you guys as the Bonnie and Clyde that you mentioned in the yeah, song? Yeah, yeah, Bonnie and Clyde, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, <laughs> Adam and Gloria. Back in the day when I saw these two dating, I was excited because they both are great musical artists and they seemed like a cute couple. But like most Hollywood relationships that involve two big celebrities, it doesn't last long. And supposedly g Easy cheated on Halsey, which is something that she was warned about. Reports claim that g Easy was rumored to have cheated on the singer during their on and off one year relationship that officially ended in October 2018. Though Halsey has never explicitly shared the reason for their split, fans immediately took this as confirmation that g Easy was the reason behind their failed relationship. There's a viral TikTok out there which explains that actually Halsey found out that g Easy had been cheating on her right before they did a performance on stage, which I cannot imagine finding out that my partner cheated on me and then having to go out on stage and sing about him potentially cheating on me because in their song she calls him out and says that if he ever were to do that she will get back at him Got that kind of style, everybody try to rip off. Why sell dress under when she take the make off? Silk on her body. <laughs> Ever catch me cheating, she would try to. <laughs> I don't know if I fully believe that she found out right before that moment because she seems like <laughs> too cheerful. If it was me, I would be scolding at him during that line. But in July 2018, she tweeted pumpkin eater, which if you know what that means, um, cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. So she's clearly trying to tell her fans that she had been cheated on. One source claims they tried to make the distance thing work, but the two of them are super engaging and interactive people and it became too super engaging and interactive. Okay, so not monogamous. And it became too difficult for them to sustain a balanced and healthy relationship when they were spending so much time apart. Halsey wrote on Instagram, I normally keep this kind of thing private, but provided our public nature, I felel the need to inform my fans. g Easy and I are taking some time apart. I'm eager to continue the upcoming passage of time dedicating 
myself to my art and career. So clearly making it um, known that she is single. But the pair did later reconcile before splitting up again in October of 2018. But two days after sharing the news that she had been cheated on, she had a performance and you can tell she wasn't feeling herself. Two days after she shared that tweet, Halsey performed at the Common Ground Music Festival in Michigan while she sang her song, Sorry, She Broke Down and Cried, wiping her tears while she sang, Someone Will Love You, But Someone Isn't Me. On top of her emotional performance, she also got vulnerable with the crowd and talked about the breakup, saying, I learned recently it's okay to be alone. Being alone is enough. Halsey also suggested that she hooked up with g Easy after the split when she added, the second lesson I learned is don't sleep with your ex. Ooh. Halsey broke out into tears on stage while singing Sorry due to her recent breakup with g Easy. Now we don't know for sure, for sure, if g Easy cheated on her. That's allegedly what happened, but like, I don't know. Anyway, Halsey was in her feelings when she performed at the Common Ground Music Festival last week and got choked up while performing her song Sorry on the line that says, someone will love you, but someone isn't me. This marked Halsey's first performance since the breakup, so as you can imagine, the emotions were very fresh. And even though she did get choked up and had to stop for a second to collect herself, she did push through and continued with a powerful performance. After that performance, Halsey continued giving a little glimpse into what was going on between her and g Easy. And by little glimpse, I mean Halsey exposes cheating g Easy in powerful SNL performance. Halsey has explicitly called out her on and off again boyfriend g Easy for cheating. The 24-year-old singer delivered a powerful performance of Without Me, a track she's previously confirmed is about the No Limit rapper, accompanied by written messages on the stage. During her performance, the first screen came up in the middle of the second verse, when she sung the lyrics, I didn't notice because my love was blind. It then went back to black during the bridge before returning as she belted out the final chorus. And it wasn't long before fans on Twitter praised Halsey for her blast on her ex. Essentially, in this performance, she straight up called g -E a cheater and put it on the screen so the world knew. Halsey performed her heart out on the Saturday Night Live stage for this past weekend's episode of SNL, where she was the featured performer and host. This past weekend, Halsey performed her chart-topping song, Without Me, but everyone is talking about the visuals that went along with it. With lyrics like, and then I got you off your knee to put you right back on your feet just so you can take advantage of me, we already knew this was going to be a powerful performance. Now it started off completely normal until about one minute in when they turned the lights up and you see all types of graffiti behind Halsey. The graffiti said, I'm so sorry, Ashley, I cheated. Now Ashley is Halsey's real name and it appears that she was finally ready to open up about this because the graffiti listed multiple locations where he cheated, like New York City, Chicago, Miami, Minneapolis, at home in New Orleans, and quote, more places I can't even remember. It was honestly hard not to tear up while watching and she took to Twitter after she finished performing and said, as an artist, I have a privilege to remain honest and write about what's true to me. As a woman, I have a responsibility to not allow myself to be silenced by someone who has done me wrong. My truth will always come through in my art. Death over silence, yo. Fans immediately sent an outpouring of love and support, and one of those fans was Kelly Clarkson. She tweeted Halsey saying, Halsey, that was a killer performance of Without Me on SNL. Your vocals, the story, the writing on the wall, best performance I've seen in a while. Raw, painful, pure, thanks for being you. I have to say, I love this performance, and if you haven't seen it before, go and check it out. She wrote on Twitter that she has to stand by herself and what she's gone through, and I think Halsey's work really speaks to that. I mean, I've been a big fan for a long time, so maybe I'm biased, but a lot of her music does pertain to her real life. Like, her song Colors is about Maddie Healy, who Taylor Swift recently dated, and there's just so much depth to everything she releases. One person wrote on Twitter, imagine exposing your ex on SNL. Hail to the Queen Halsey. I had a really public breakup, right? and the whole world was watching, and they were like, say something, say something, say something. And I was like, what am I gonna do? Like, tweet about it? Like, post it? No, I'm gonna put it in a song, because that's what I do. I'm an artist. 
As you guys know on this channel, we don't like cheaters, so most of the world was supportive of Halsey. Someone wrote, holy crap, Halsey just won that breakup. Sleazy g Easy. Another person writes, Halsey slamming g Easy for cheating for the world to see on SNL is a real big mood. And because g Easy has been pretty silent on this situation, I think it's clear that he is guilty. When he was approached by paparazzi at the airport after the breakup, he casually dodged everyone's questions. Some felt that this reaction only made him look guilty. It also didn't help that rumors had surfaced at the time about him dating Demi Lovato, though those turned out to be false. I mean, hmm, Demi Lovato, that's an intense person to date. And maybe g Easy has been silent about his part in this, but other people have shared their opinions, and some are calling Halsey a hypocrite because she supposedly cheated as well. Yes, many of them. I ain't even say no names, so I don't even know why everyone's getting sensitive. Oh, I never said a name. We all thought it was Haley. Halsey? Halsey. The 30-year-old and the 50-year-old said those names, not me. So did you smash Halsey? Absolutely. <laughs> So supposedly Halsey had cheated on g Easy with Machine Gun Kelly. It's really weird to see how all these people are intertwined in Hollywood. But there's another report that claims that g Easy actually had cheated on Halsey with another celebrity, Ashley Simpson. Now, we don't know exactly why reports are saying that Ashley Simpson had been hooking up with g Easy. I mean, g Easy and Halsey weren't even together that long for him to go and cheat with all of these people. But this report claims that Ashley Simpson is part of it and... If you guys don't know Ashley Simpson, it's Jessica Simpson's little sister. And it's, yeah, Hollywood is all so intertwined that these people are all just like <laughs> hooking up with each other. And maybe g Easy has been able to act chill in front of the paparazzi and the public, but Halsey has been kind of taunted for her relationship with g Easy. I'm not entirely sure what kind of fans he has, but this isn't a good look. Halsey was seen saying F that guy after a fan kept yelling g Easy's name. Halsey took a stand Saturday night during a pre-Super Bowl concert in Miami after a fan harassed her by repeatedly screaming out the name of her ex-BF. This guy kept yelling g Easy's name over and over again. That set off something fierce as she did her own investigation into who's saying this. Halsey asked the crowd to figure out who's calling out g Easy's name, and she yelled F that guy. She issued a warning. If you say g Easy one more effing time, I will kick you out of this building. I will kick your effing ass test me and honestly i think it's so disrespectful but it's pretty common i this makes me think back to a basketball game i went to and it was like <laughs> tristan thompson so chloe kardashian's partner and you know he had cheated on her and i remember going to this basketball game and i had like front row i don't even know why i think like my like, ex-boyfriend had tickets through work. I'm not entirely sure. But when we went, so many people in the crowd were yelling Khloe Kardashian's name at Tristan while he was playing. And this kind of reminds me of that kind of harassment, which isn't acceptable. If you say G-Eazy one more time, I'll kick your out of this party. I will kick your out of this party. After that clip went viral, Halsey put out a statement, don't ever let someone make you feel crazy or unhinged because you're a woman standing up for yourself. Don't tolerate disrespect in the name of being nice. Love you, which I think is great. I mean, if she wants to pop off and yell at someone off stage, like, you know, I'm a very blunt person. I like to say it how it is, tell you guys how I feel. And if she feels that way, stand up for yourself. It's your show. Don't like let someone make you feel small when you're literally on stage. Even though Halsey's been through it, don't worry about her because she has moved on. She went on to date Evan Peters, who's a very interesting person to date. Remember his toxic relationship um, I talked about on my channel before, but they went on to date and then she went on to date Cara Delevingne, who um, has really been going through it, but at some point it seemed like they were together, they had a fling, a very casual relationship, which is interesting because G-Eazy has publicly said before he would love to be with Kara. Why did nobody realize how he got the ultimate payback after g cheated on her?
There are so many toxic relationships in Hollywood, so I'm not surprised that these two didn't last, but I am surprised that they had a song together and that the cheating scandal was so public, SNL was involved. We really do know what happened. We haven't had them really sit down and explain the details, but they, we've had enough clues to understand the GEZ cheated on Halsey and um, maybe Halsey cheated back, but nonetheless, these relationships out here in the entertainment industry are so toxic. And you know, the one sort said oh the distance put a lot of pressure on them but there's also a lot of people who are speaking in their ears and controlling their lives and if they wanted to make their client you know and their relationship they could do things to add some tension there so i wouldn't be surprised if you know there are some bad actors also involved and involved in a lot of other relationships but here's my email if you guys have any other video ideas for me and i'll see you in a new video soon bye guys